Hi everyone, it's Tara. So I am back to share with you my very first flip book. This is for a swap with Bridget, who is Shoe Princess One here on YouTube, and I will leave a link down below to her channel so you guys can go check her out. She is super sweet and an amazing crafter. I've known Bridget for years and amazingly this is our first swap so I was super nervous to do this um, because I just admire her work so much she is just amazing um, and so yeah I just couldn't wrap my head around the whole flip book thing um, it's just I don't know it's just not my thing and everything isn't for everybody that's you know that's the way I see it and flip books are just they're just not my thing I am a pocket litter girl I guess you could say so I don't know if this is gonna be my last flip book but I'm definitely not gonna be swapping anymore um, I started this flip book back in April actually I started another flip book um, using a different paper collection and I was like all excited about it and then I saw a video that someone else had mailed her a flip book using that very same collection so I was like oh so I had to start all over um, and just come up with you know a new design new paper collection which is fine because Bridget loves nautical stuff and I loved working with this paper collection so it worked out for the best so what I used was the Ocean Breeze stack by Die Cuts with a View and I picked this up from Joann's it's a very pretty paper collection so yeah let's just jump right into it so I followed the tutorial by Sabrina Ann for the envelope flip book and I will leave a link to her tutorial down below this girl is amazing with flip books she just makes some of the cutest flip books um, so yeah I followed her tutorial and for you know it just made the construction of it a lot easier and sturdy because I definitely did not want to use like washi tape or anything like that so I'm so happy that she took the time to do the tutorial for us so if Sabrina if you're watching thank you for that alright so here I just created a belly band as you can see I used a rosette um, a navy blue rosette and I wanted to hang a charm somewhere so I decided to use the bottle cap as a way for me to hang my charm so I filled the bottle cap with glossy accents and then poured in some of this dist distress glitter in picked raspberry sorry for that glare and I did a review on these distress glitters a few years back so I'll link that down below in case you guys want to see some of the other colors but I love using this stuff so and I haven't used it in a while um, but it gives like a really nice sparkle effect without it being like too like glittery in your face you know what I mean so on top of that I added one of these uh, shell sequins and we can see that so I added that and then I hung this uh, anchor and this anchor came from Joann's and then from there I just dangled some beads and this beautiful heart charm that my friend uh, Christine who is Shabby Pink House she gifted that to me so thank you Christine for that really really pretty and Bridget loves hearts too so I knew that would be perfect and then um, like I said I just dangled some beads which have been wire wrapped and then here is another shell sequin and these uh, sequins actually have a hole in them so it makes it really easy to turn into a charm I hope you can see that and then on top of that there is a little mermaid charm because I know that she likes mermaids Okay, so you can see it there we go so I love that mermaid charm it's super cute so that's what I did there so let's just remove the belly band and um, I went into this um, like making it kind of like a mini album because like I said I just I just had a hard time like trying to figure out what I wanted to do so I just decided to make it like a mini album so that she can actually use it and then I'm just gonna send goodies um, separately so I left you know this part blank because I'm thinking that maybe she can write a title on here uh, like summer 2016 or whatever so I just left this part you know open 
so that she can kind of do her own thing. All right, so it opens up like this. I added some really thin washi tape to the spot or the the gussets, and you know, being that this was my first flip book. I really didn't know what I was doing and I learned a lot <laughs> so um, going forward if I ever do another one I will probably make the gussets a little bit bigger because this is like really thick and yeah so um, and also with the envelopes I kind of I covered all of the envelopes so there's I didn't utilize the fact that I could um, put things in it but again um, I was looking at it as a mini album so yeah. All right. So this is actually another envelope that I included. So this page is just, you know, a decorative page using um, cutouts from the collection, these clear anchor stickers from Hobby Lobby. Um, I cut out some banners with silver paper and added some of that rickrack from the Target dollar spot. And then on this side here, I just made it into um, like a pocket page. And this um, specialty paper I got from Joann's. And I thought it was so cool because it looks like waves. So I made a pocket out of that and I used my Martha Stewart punch to um, punch out the top. And this is a cutout from the collection, added some bling, and then these heart stickers I got from my friend Kim, who is Kim Possible, here on YouTube. So thank you so much for those, Kim. Okay, and I added one little enamel dot right there. Um, and so these are just some cutouts from the collection. Uh, this tag, I used my Tim Holtz die and added some more of those. Um, heart stickers there. Again, some more cutouts from the collection. So she can journal or add pictures to those. And then here's again another cutout from the collection. And I added some crystals right there. Okay, I also I edged um, all of the papers with. Uh, the deco color paint pen in silver and moving forward I probably wouldn't use this for a flip book again um, this is great for like when I do my cards and stuff but being that this is handled a lot I noticed that some of the silver it rubs off so I probably you know I wouldn't use that again it doesn't rub off to where like you can't see it but I notice that it's like on my mat and sometimes I'll see like little uh, silver you know things on my hand so yeah so that is that page and then it flips open like that and then here I just made another pocket page added some again journaling cards from the collection where she can, you know, add pictures or journal on the back. And I edged these with the Tim Holtz Distress Paint in ch Chipped Sapphire. I love using this stuff. Okay, and I love this paper. It's so pretty. Okay, and then on the pocket, uh, this is one of those anchors from the Target Dollar Spot. I painted it with it was already pink but it wasn't the right color pink so I painted it with the picked raspberry distress paint and then I added glossy accents and again went um, dump some of this distress glitter over top to give it that nice sparkle added a sequin bow on top of that and then down here is some trim from Michaels some of that adhesive trim in silver okay and then this Sorry for that glare. All right, so then this page here, this is also another little mini envelope, or not mini envelope, an envelope. <laughs> and on here, I just added mini envelopes. Um, I added three envelopes, covered them with paper, and um, you know, slit the side so I could add some tags in here. So here we 
we go. So on top of all of the envelopes I added some clear stickers and then I made a hinge so that they flip they flip open like that and then here she can add a picture this is some washi tape from the Target dollar spot and then to cover the hinge I just added um, this is a piece from the collection I had a clear sticker over top of that and then again another envelope and then in here are just some tags that she can, you know, add pictures or journal. Okay. So this just flips up like that. Again, another space for a photo, more of that washi tape cut out from the collection. And here again, another um, envelope that flips. There we go. And then down here is just like a little decorative element that I created. With some doilies and um, heart stickers. And this actually came from another collection, but I thought it was cute. So sparkle and shine. And then here are these um, silver stickers I got from Hobby Lobby. So I just added those. And I'll take these out as well. So here's just a tag I created um, with cardstock and I just punched a little heart at the bottom. These tags came from the Target Dollar Spot and I just added some of that Rick Rack. And this one down here is the same, the same thing. Okay, so that is that page and then this flips over like so. And again I just made a little decorative page with doilies, cutouts from the collection. I added another one of those um, sequin shells, die cut out friend, so ahoy friend. And so that is that page. And then here in the center I created a uh, shaker element. So I just laminated a large bag and I'm so sorry for that glare. So I laminated a bag and then um, a clear bag and then filled it with all of my shaker bits. As you can see, added a clear heart sticker down there and then another anchor here. So to seal the top of the laminated bag, I added some uh, scotch tape and then I went over that to hold it down. I just used some of that washi tape from Target and I cut like slits onto the side so that it can actually flip up so she can see um, this which is the cutout from the collection and again I had another one of those anchor stickers so that is that page and then here on the other side of this envelope I have this is another cutout from the collection. I made it into a pocket and I'm going to um, put a note in here clipped to this um, arrow paper clip that my friend Anna gave me. So thank you Anna who's Serenity Creations. And you know, like I said, it's supposed to be a mini album so she can take the note out and um, add pictures or journaling you know, behind there if she chooses to. And then this last page here again is a, another pocket page cut out from the collection. Um, some more of those uh, adhesive trims from Michaels. I layered two of them. I don't know if you can tell. And then I just added some die cuts or not die cuts, pieces from the collection, some journaling spots. Again, love, love, love that paper. So pretty. So that just goes in there. And then I just added a heart clip to these. So yeah, that is it. So I hope that she likes it. Um, <laughs> like I said, it, it took me a minute to, you know, wrap my head around doing this I would start and stop and um, yeah so I hope that she likes it I hope that she actually uses it as a mini album 
And here's the back. I'm just going to um, write my name and date on the back of there. So, yeah. So I hope that she likes it. Like I said, I hope that you guys like it. Please let me know what you think. And um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.